Well, welcome to this training module on how to do a PBR, what's the purpose of a PBR, what's the philosophy, and how to properly set one up. Well, first of all, what is a PBR? A PBR is a private business reception, or maybe you could just look at it as, in its simplest form, just a presentation about the business, just like you'd see in a hotel or anywhere else, but it's done in your home, and it's a much more comfortable environment. And I'll just ask you this question. Let's say you, you had a friend who was starting a business and they, they called you up and said, hey, I'd love you to come here about the business I'm launching. I kind of want your support. I want you to check it out. Give me your opinion about it. And we're going to be getting together at my house, you know, Tuesday night. Okay, well, you've been to their house before. You know them a little bit. That sounds comfortable. You'll, you'll probably be apt to show up and, 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 and support them in their business. But what if I said the same thing to you? I'm launching a business. I want you to come check it out. Give me your opinion. Next Tuesday, I'm going to be at the Marriott at the local city. Now, obviously, in those two scenarios, even if I said the identical words, one of them feels a little more inviting, correct? It's the one done in your home. So a PBR is by far, when you launch your business, the most successful way of getting people to be attracted to looking at your business is make it comfortable and inviting for them. And in your home, there's no better place uh, to do so than that environment rather than the business environment. Now, that doesn't mean weekly meetings in local hotels don't work, they do. We just like you to put them in proper perspective that a PBR is the best way for you to expose groups of people when you first launch this business. Now, PBRs are designed to create momentum. All right, what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, you may not have a weekly meeting going on in your area. And if you do, there's no better way to fill the weekly meeting than have people see the PBR first and then tell them about the local support that exists in that local hotel or office center where they can come get trained. It's more of a training facility and they've already seen the meeting in the home. They can now easily translate their interest level right over to a business center. So not only is it a great way to have the meetings more comfortable and inviting and, and communicate people to go to the weekly meeting, but it's also the fastest way to create momentum in the business. What do I mean by that? Well, momentum is nothing more than just energy and enthusiasm, right, coupled with activity. And when you've got energy and that white hat, this burning desire for success from a lot of people and activity going together, that creates momentum. Well, if you're only using the weekly meeting in your area, that's great support to maintain your business, but how are you going to create momentum with four events per month? That's only four opportunities for people to be exposed and grow your business. Or with a PBR, they can be done every single day of the week. There's even PBRs done at lunchtime, on weekends, before the Thursday night meetings or Tuesday night meetings. They can take place at any time because it's just like you playing cards in your home. You can do that whenever you want. You can have a get-together or gathering any time you want to expose this business once you know how to exercise this tool. Additionally, in how it creates momentum, it's not just frequency, but it takes the business out to rural markets or markets that aren't yet open. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? Let's say you've got a training center right here in, in a downtown city. Okay, let's just say Philadelphia. You've got a weekly center going on right here, and everybody comes to that meeting every Tuesday night, let's say. Well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Philadelphia is not presenting the business, right? But what if you could have a PBR done out here and a PBR over here in Jersey, Southern Jersey, there's a PBR, and over here in Western Pennsylvania, there's PBRs, and you've got PBRs taking place all over the region of Philadelphia every other day but Tuesday, and in this meeting, I have a meeting and I bring my four friends, and this meeting here, they had seven people, and this PBR over here, which is 20 miles from Philadelphia, they got together Sunday night and they had six people, and this meeting here, they have three people, this one wasn't as successful, they only had one show up, this one in South Jersey, man, they had 14 people at the PBR, and all these meetings turn into an opportunity for people to hear about the business instead of waiting until Tuesday to go to Philadelphia. And what happens is, aren't all of these separate presentations? So don't you have a lot of people in your team learning how to do the presentation and watching how to do the presentation and taking notes on how to do the presentation? See, this is an opportunity for a lot of you to step up and take more of a leadership role. Maybe you're not the superstar yet in your local city, but you can be the superstar and help honing your skills in local PBRs. And you can take notes here while you're at these meetings. You can follow the training on how to do presentations, and then you start doing them. But what's most important is this area supports kind of a market like this. All these people are willing to drive this far for their first exposure, but they may not be willing to drive across the traffic to Philadelphia next Tuesday, but they'll come to a local meeting. 
Now, once they come to a local meeting of those 14 people, maybe you have eight ready to go. Those eight people will, of course, be willing to drive to the weekly meeting because they want the business now. They already know what it's involved with, and they want to pursue it. And they'll be coming, and then they'll want to know, how do we build the next PBR in this area? And from this PBR, you want to have two to three PBRs created from every PBR. So now next week, there's another one being done over here. There's another one being done over here. And what are we doing? We're filling those PBRs, launching the businesses, and what meeting are we filling next Tuesday? We're all driving across the bridge right over to the Philadelphia meeting, and this meeting's creating momentum, momentum. And one gauge to see how your PBRs are going or how many are happening is, what does the weekly meeting look like? If the weekly meeting is growing in size with brand new faces every single week, you know there's a lot of this going on. If it's not, you know this is not happening. Because a weekly meeting, one week a month, I'm sorry, one meeting a week will not create exponential growth in that weekly meeting. It's happened before, but it defies logic. Instead of it being tremendous amount of frequency, you could have three PBRs in this city between now and next Tuesday, right? So we know they'll create momentum. We know it's an opportunity for you to step up and help support your group. We know this person who's brand new will be able to have more people attend there than they will here. So by you being offering, you being willing and offering to do a PBR for them in Cherry Hill, they're gonna have more show up at their home than coming to the weekly meeting in, in Philly. So by you taking this on yourself, you're being a better sponsor, you're being a better leader, and you're increasing their odds for success. However, you want to make sure you do it effectively. So don't do a PBR until you've got a leader who's willing to help you do it and until you've gone through this module on how to set one up appropriately, what's the etiquette of it, and then it becomes a winning scenario. So let's go through real quickly how to set it up and what the etiquette is. It's pretty simple. You can read this right on the document, but I want to go through this. All right, a PBR. The PBR is, a, is, a, is for representatives to share the opportunity with friends, family, and business social acquaintances in a comfortable environment as an, with an effective presenter, as we already said. The purpose is to create momentum quickly and not wait till the weekly meeting and fill the weekly meeting with all the people who have seen the PBRs. Here's a few tips. Best day to do one. Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday are the best, obviously, with 7.30 being the best time. Now, you can do it at any time, but you'll get a highest show up rate at that time. Uh, there should be one representative for every four guests. You don't need 10 reps with only three guests. That feels a little overwhelming, okay? But you want at least one representative there to support every four uh, prospects that are coming. You tell your business casual. Business casual, however you are with your friends usually. If you're always in a suit when you see them, then it's okay to have a suit. But you want to make sure they feel warm and invited rather than pitched. You don't have to feel like they're getting a pitch. Okay, only prepare finger food. Don't overspend on this. Do not overspend. You don't need to impress them with your food spread. Have a few uh, chips out, some, some light liquids like water and Sprite. Avoid the dark liquids, those stain carpet. We don't need stains. And also make it alcohol free. Don't bring bringing alcohol into the environment. I've had some people say, can I have a glass of wine? Well, if all your friends are used to having a glass of wine when they get together, that's fine. But that takes a risk. So I always say, just make it alcohol free. It becomes a risk because someone may overdrink, and they become sometimes a little bit of a distraction in the meeting. All right, leave the room as it is normally. Don't set up a pitch room or a presentation room. Set it up normally. Keep your living room the way it always is. It's okay to pull a whiteboard out. It's okay to put that out when it's time to get started. Pull the board out, and if, if you got to shuffle chairs in, say, okay, come on, folks, let's, let's move in. We're going to have a little presentation real quick, and this will be more convenient if you can see and kind of shuffle people around and put the board in a good place. That's okay, but don't have it pre-set up, okay? Just make sure you're, you're thinking about how they feel when they get there. That's the most important thing. If you want to have news articles laying around about the industry, have them laying around on the table for people to read prior. Uh, have product forms and service brochures available that people can read. And, and make sure you have starting forms or takeaway forms that they can go home with, information they can go home with, or at least know the websites you need to refer them to or websites they need to go to sign up so they can get started. All right, let your guests know they should arrive about 10 minutes early, and you certainly make sure you're ready to go a half hour early for the early risers. Of course, you're also gonna have uh, um, you know, your experts getting there early. He's gonna be there, she's gonna be there, and you can talk in advance. Make sure you've got everything set up. Make sure there's any questions you may have, you can run through them. Now, during the meeting, it's your job, if you're the host, to introduce your guests to the expert. 
So you want to make sure now, prior to the meeting, you've edified appropriately, right? You've confirmed that they're going to be there. You know they're coming, right? Because you confirmed the day before. You didn't wait till 10 minutes before to call and say, hey, you're coming. You called the day before to confirm with them. You edified the expert appropriately. They know why they want to meet the expert. They know why you trust the expert. They trust the expert now based on what you've said. So they're coming into an environment that's warm and inviting, and they're looking forward to meeting this expert rather than put off the defense to say, who is this girl or who is this guy? They're not, they're not in protect mode. They're in warm mode. You maybe even have done a three-way call with them already. All right, but so now they show up, they're there on time, introduce them to the expert before the meeting. The goal is to have this interactive. It's not a presentation, it will become a presentation, but the goal is to make it interactive, inviting, and comfortable. So make sure you introduce them to people, introduce them to people they may relate with, just keep it social, all right? In addition to that, um, you want to support your speaker, and you don't want to just support them by being attentive, but you want to take notes too, for your own good. I know if I'm doing a presentation in a PBR, I want to know the host is taking notes and how's he doing this? How did he cover the industry? How did he cover the products? How did he cover the compensation plan? And I want to know they're taking notes because I'm taking the time to present for their team. I want to know they're taking the time to be committed to learning the business because one day they may be called on to do the presentation and it's best to have been schooled on it through, through being shown rather than just reading it in a book. So take good notes but also support them with some, hey, how many of you have ever been involved in such and such before? Raise your hand if you have. You don't need to lie, but be attentive. Say, no, you know, it's okay to be into it. Have your phone shut off, right? Have your dogs put away. Have your kids tended to. You want it to be warm and inviting, but you don't want it to be distracting. If you know your kid's coming home from football practice around 8.30, tell them to go through the back door and to go in as quietly as you can that you're having a business meeting and shuffle your way into the basement or you're up to your room without being a distraction. Hey, hi, everybody, because the presentation has a flow, and you want to make sure you stay in that flow and not disrupt that flow, okay? Remember, anytime someone leaves the room, not only is it distracting, but the speaker could be talking about something that's that one nugget that's going to get your friend to say yes. So know this, the brand that you put on this, the feeling you put on this, it's more important than the presenter's words. The feeling you put on it is more, impor more important than the presenter's word. Okay, and a couple things I want to say here. As the host, you're responsible to give an informal introduction to the speaker. So you'll get up, invite, you welcome everyone, you'll introduce the speaker, you'll re-edify them again, and then you have them come up and meet you. Don't leave the front of the room until they're there. Introduce them and wait for them to come, give them a hug, shake hand and hug, whatever it is, and then go sit down and watch. You don't go in the kitchen and prepare drinks. You don't go in the kitchen and get another bag of Doritos. You sit down with your notepad, front row paying attention, totally attentive. That's why you want the whole room kind of like distraction proof before you start. So you can just sit down and deal with the presentation. All right? And then after the presentation, of course the expert will present, they'll do their part, they'll go through the four steps. What you want to do, it's your job to go through the room and make sure everyone feels like they've got their questions answered, that they've met the expert already. Identify, are they a one, two, or three? Are they, are they just wanting to be a customer? Do they want to make some extra money maybe? Or do they want to make serious money? Make sure you introduce the twos and threes, the ones who want to make some extra money or serious money, to the presenter. Let them talk a little bit so the presenter can give them the next steps. All right, it's easier when the expert tells them what to do next rather than you having to. And if they just want to be a customer, you can certainly have them say bye to the expert, but you want to keep the expert only talking to those who are most interested in the business. All right, you can always get the customers later. All right, and then if they want to become a customer, obviously follow up with them later, give them some customer brochures maybe, follow up with them later, any CDs maybe you want them to listen to, and then certainly you can make sure they get signed up. But this is the most important thing I want you to take from this. It is the most effective way to increase the frequency of presentations. It's the most effective way for you to have your friends hear about the business because it's warm and inviting. Those are two things in your favor. You can do them whenever you want. Three things in your favor. You don't have to wait for the weekly meeting. Four things in your favor. You don't have to drive to the weekly meeting. Five things in your favor. You can do, because you can do more often, it's a learning experience that happens more often and repetition is the mother of learning. So you get repetition going in your favor. You got a lot of people learning the business in your favor. And when you know how to do a PBR in this city, you can do one anywhere you want and you can do a weekly meeting anywhere you want and people start having PBRs. Remember, you want two, PR, two PBRs to come from each PBR. Every time you have another one starting, what happens is people say, why should we drive all the way to Philly? We got enough meetings going on out here in, 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 in 
Pittsfield, then we'll do a meeting out here in Pittsfield. And we start doing meetings out there. And now you got two centers going on. And maybe you have one Super Saturday every six weeks or so where all the local centers fill the big Super Saturday. It's just like a church or anything else. It starts in a home. The home grows to other homes. The frequency increases. And before long, you have so many people, it doesn't make sense to drive all the way to Philadelphia. And you start doing it locally. Distraction-free, warm and inviting, good expert presenting, follow up, follow up, follow up. Get the people in front of the expert who want to get started in the business and they'll tell them what to do in getting started. Use PBRs, they'll make your business explode if you follow them as we've discussed. Thank you for watching this video on how to use PBRs to grow your business.